Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two right triangles uh, put together, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow shaded right triangle uh, ABE has been uh, given to us as 3 times square root of 3 centimeter square. And moreover, this side uh, AB is equal to this side uh, CD. Furthermore, uh, this hypotenuse uh, AE is being represented by X and this horizontal side uh, BC is being represented by 2 times uh, X and this is our 90 degree angle and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. I am going to connect uh, this vertex A with this uh, vertex uh, D. As you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we are ended up with this uh, right uh, triangle uh, AED. And moreover uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees and likewise uh, this angle is 90 degrees as well. Since uh, this uh, side length uh, equal to this side length. In other words, we are dealing with this uh, whole uh, rectangle uh, ABCD. So therefore we conclude uh, that this uh, side uh, AD is going to be equal to this side uh, BC. If this is 2 times X, uh, then this side has got to be 2 times X as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AED. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case uh, this 2x is our hypotenuse. Whereas uh, x uh, and this side uh, AE are our two other legs. So therefore we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to write down uh, a e square plus uh, x uh, square equals to 2 times x uh, whole square. And now we are going to subtract x square from both sides. This is gone. So therefore uh, a e square is going to be equal to 3 times uh, x square. And now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our this uh, side AE length uh, is going to be equal to x times uh, square root of 3 centimeter. So thus our this side uh, AE turns out to be x times uh, square root of 3. Before we proceed any further let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle. AED that is our 30 60 90 special triangle. Since this angle is 30 degrees this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is our 90 degree angle. And now we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to that uh, smallest uh, angle is going to be our smallest leg. And this uh, 90 degrees is our largest angle. So the side opposite to that one is going to be our longest leg which is also called the hypotenuse. So in such kind of 30, 60, 90 special triangle, the longest leg is twice the smallest leg. In other words, uh, if our smallest leg is 1, then our longest leg has got to be 2. And this uh, third leg is going to be square root of 3. And in general, if this uh, smallest leg is uh, x, then uh, this longest leg has got to be 2 times uh, x and this third leg has got to be x times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle AED. We know this uh, is our smallest leg uh, x. This is twice as this uh, leg and this third leg is uh, x times square root of 3. So therefore we conclude that this angle has got to be 30 degrees. This is our 90 degree angle and this is going to be our 60 degrees uh, angle and furthermore we know this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 30 degrees so this uh, remaining angle has got to be 60 degrees and likewise if this is 60 degree angle this is our 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle is going to be our 
30 degrees angle. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded right triangle ABE. And now let's recall this uh, famous trigonometric ratio. Sine of theta is always equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. And we can see in this uh, triangle uh, AEB, if this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, uh, then this angle has got to be 30 degrees. So therefore, if we call this angle uh, theta, then this side is going to be our uh, opposite uh, side. And this A is going to be our hypotenuse. So therefore, for sine of angle 30 degrees is going to be equal to our opposite side is our AB length divided by our hypotenuse is going to be x times square root of 3. And now we know that uh, sine of 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2. So therefore, I am going to replace this uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees uh, with 1 divided by 2. And now I am going to multiply both sides by x times uh, square root of 3 over here and x times uh, square root of 3 on the left hand side uh, to isolate uh, AB. And here we can see x times square root of 3 and x times uh, square root of 3 they are gone. So therefore our uh, AB side length uh, is going to be this uh, time this is going to give us uh, x times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore our this side length uh, AB turns out to be x times square root of 3 divided by 2. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, ABE. And the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us as 3 times square root of 3 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a triangle uh, formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this given uh, triangle, our two sides are uh, A and B. And C is the angle in between. And in our case, our two side lengths uh, are uh, these ones and 60 degrees is angle in between. And the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us as 3 times square root of 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this triangle uh, is uh, 3 times square root of 3 is going to be equal to a half times uh, our one side length uh, is uh, x times uh, square root of uh, 3 times uh, x times square root of 3 divided by 2 times uh, sine of our angle 60 degrees. And now we know that uh, sine of 60 degrees uh, is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore uh, I'm going to replace this uh, sine of 60 degrees uh, with the uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, sine of 60 degrees with square root of 3 divided by 2. And now if we simplify and multiply the right hand side, uh, that is going to give us uh, x square divided by 8 uh, times uh, 3 times square root of uh, 3. And now I am going to multiply both sides by 1 divided by 3 times square root of 3 and I'm going to multiply on this side uh, 1 divided by 3 times uh, square root of 3 as well. And here we can see this cancels out with this one and here uh, this time this is going to give us simply 1 equals to x square divided by 8 and now 1 could be written as 1 divided by 1 and we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, if we cross multiply, we are going to get uh, x square is going to be equal to 8. And I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our uh, x value turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 2 centimeter. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 2 times square root of 2 centimeter. 
and that's going to be approximately equal to 2.83 centimeter as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye